world has never seen an epidemic like HIV AIDS. No other disease in history has spread so rapidly and caused such devastation on a global scale. And the epidemic continues to grow despite important advances in treatment and large-scale investments. The AIDS epidemic has hit Sub-Saharan Africa particularly hard. The epidemic there also has a distinctive characteristic. About 60% of those newly infected with HIV are women and girls. In response, researchers have urgently sought a way to prevent HIV infection that, unlike condom use, women can control. In particular, they have sought a drug in gel form that could kill the deadly AIDS virus within the vagina, that is, a vaginal microbicide. Good news has emerged from a research study conducted in South Africa. Researchers there reported at the 18th International AIDS Conference that a vaginal gel significantly reduces a woman's risk of being infected with HIV as well as genital herpes. The gel contains an antiretroviral drug called tenofovir, which has, until now, only been used in pill form to treat people already infected with HIV. The research organization, known as CAPRISA, the Center for the AIDS Program of Research in South Africa, assess both the safety and effectiveness of tenofovir gel. Caprisa worked with the U.S.-based organizations FHI and Conrad. We are really proud to have collaborated with Caprisa and Conrad in conducting this important study. It represents a major victory for the field of HIV prevention research. It's the first time that an antiretroviral agent in the form of a gel, which we also call a microbicide, has been shown to protect women from HIV. This is just a first step. The next step is to repeat this study. If these results are confirmed, the effort to make tenofovir available to women can move forward. The Caprisa study showed that the gel reduced a woman's risk of becoming infected with HIV during vaginal intercourse by more than a third. What's more, more consistent use of the gel increased its protective effect. HIV infections were reduced by 54% among women who used it consistently. In addition, the gel reduced genital herpes infections by half. This is good news because having genital herpes makes a woman more vulnerable to HIV. If the protective effects of tenofovir gel are supported by other studies, the gel's wider use could save millions of lives that otherwise would be lost to HIV. It would also reduce new genital herpes infections, especially among the world's most vulnerable populations. The Caprisa trial was conducted at two sites in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa one in a rural community, and the other in Durban. About 900 women participated in the trial. Financial support was provided by the United States Agency for International Development and the South African government's Department of Science and Technology. The South African epidemic is characterized by very high HIV incidence rates in young women. So a microbicide could have a huge impact on the HIV epidemic in South Africa. So in a way, South Africa has the conditions that are ripe for testing such an intervention, and South Africa has the potential to benefit you know, to the largest extent, if you like, from such an efficacious intervention. If further studies confirm that tenofovir gel is safe and protects against HIV, drug regulatory authorities will still have to approve it. This can take time, but the South Africa-based Technology Innovation Agency and U.S.-based Conrad are working together to address challenges to making the gel available to women. Any attempt to try and alter this epidemic has to address the challenges being faced by women. And if we look at current prevention options, they offer very little for women to initiate themselves. This is not a, a sprint, this is a marathon, and we're making incremental uh, progress. And each time we do a trial, it takes us closer to that goal. Finally, this study represents the future of HIV prevention research. It was led by investigators in South Africa and supported by a team of FHI scientific and operational experts. 
Thus, we feel it represents capacity building and research at its best.